So we are holding in Pashas Vayimikets. Pek Mem Aleph Pasuk Yud Aleph. Vanach Amoch Aloim Belaylo Echod Ani Vahu. We had a dream at the same night, I and he. Ish Kifisoin Chaloim Echalamnu. It's a very strange phrase which keeps on occurring. This Kifisoin Chaloim. I never saw a good pistering for what it means. Okay, but we're not going to go into that again. We had it already in Perak Mem Okay, okay. Pesach Yud Beis. So they had a dream. The Pesach Yud Aleph says that he had a, they had a dream at the same night. Of course, again, the stress was at the same time. I and him, putting them together and then explaining. And then the, there was a remarkable individual there who was able to differentiate. Ivri, Naar, as it says about Yosef, who Naar, the beginning of Pashas by Yeshev. Ivri, as he told the Sahamashkim, Ki Guna Gunafti Metzah Ivrim, Ever the Sahat Abachim. So he's identifying that there was a, uh, a person there, a youth, Ivri, it's an Evid, and that is Apeloi, Vaiftalas Khalam Mesir, we told to him, he interpreted dreams for us, Ish, Kachalam Pasar, he interpreted. To each of us, as per the again, we have this kachaloimai. He solved it or interpreted it according to the chalim. Now the next pasuk is going to go to pasuk gimel. That's what we're going to focus on. Vayhi. It's very. It sounds like a very simple phrase, this, but it's not. You have to read it like this. What does it mean by he kasha pasalom? It's breaking it up. It's vayhi. When things came to pass, or it happened, vayhi, and it happened. Kasha basalonu kein haya. Right. It's going when it says kein haya. It's going back to vayhi. Mm-hmm. Right. Normally vayhi is vayhi. I have a bit vayhi, and it happened. Kasha basalonu kein haya. That's the that's the chiddush that that the vayhi matched kasha kasha basalonu. But it's not Vayihi and it was that Kasha Pasalun, it was Vayihi. What came things came to happen afterwards as things as, as life is, as the nature of things, that things happen. And in this case, lo and behold, what happened was Kasha Pasalun. Vayi Kasha Pasalun Ukain Hayo. The the Vayihi was comported with Kasha Pasa. I see He Shiv Al Kani Vaisai Sala. Now the reason why I read through this book very quickly, by the way, is because it's very, it's pretty much a repetition of these of the narrative earlier, and it, you could trace back all the words, right? Okay. So, but here's something very interesting. Of course, you could also trace back the end of Parak Mem, right? And Now, who? Who is this referring to? He returned me to my position. Who? Who did? Okay. Tala, and who hanged him? What? Para. So Rashi says Pare. Now, there's a little bit of a break, meaning he's going back to the Pasuk Yod. Pare cuts off Allah Vodav. Vayitin, I see the mission. Eh, Nacha Mokhalan. Vesham, we turn on our video. Vanis Apple, Vayif Tala, Kasha Posar, Kasha Posar, him, Yosef. Lonu Kain Haya. I see Heshiv, now we're going back to Pare, which is pretty schwer. Others say, Yeah. Let's go back to Yeah, and Yosef, right? Yes, of course, this title. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, this Pasuk, is the source for this rule of Kavach HaLem Esech And that's still not sure exactly how it's derived from here. Well, if he's saying, as you, as you suggest, that he's saying, because he gave us this Pisa, and that's why... It's yeah, but where did we see that? But where did we see that? Oh, I mean, the safe of the Pasuk. Yes. Okay. But so the Gemara quotes the race of the Pasuk. Sounds like Hikash Pasalon Kein Hoya itself indicates not that what happened matched the piston but what happened is due to the piston yeah. in other words i think because the puzzle doesn't say he got it right mm-hmm. the puzzle could have said and then what we saw what happened in taka matched he was able to figure it out right yeah okay no, right that's what it was you don't you don't say by a navi like okay a navi predicted something and then what he said came to pass indeed the past like no okay he taka saw the future so it's the future like yeah. you might not be sure whether it's going to happen or not because you're not sure if he's telling the truth you're not sure if he's a true navi but you won't you won't say and then, after he told it to us, as he said, came to happen. You say, Hitaka, Hitaka knew it before it happened. Yeah. I think that's the deal. So they're saying, oh, as he told us, so it happened, it impl- it implies that um, it's the Pisran that makes it happen. 
And then, the, yeah, definitely say for the Pasuk follows too. He, Yosef, we're told, told by Yosef. He's, he's, this, he's the, the character of the Pasuk. And then, Oisi Yeshua Khan, that's all the Yosef did. Right? Yeah. Now, if that's the case, then it's actually a contradiction to what says about Shemikis. Because here it says, by Yosef, Oisi Yeshua Khan, by Parah. And here he's telling him, so yes. if you do this, it's really not because of you. Right. And then, okay, that's, I think, what's happening over here, that he's changing everything. And we'll see that this is why it's Chata and Imaz here. It's a major, he's getting himself in huge trouble. Okay? Is he telling Pyre that you didn't do it? You wait, forced? wait, and then what? Right, there was one of the implications for him, as we shall see. That's what I want to say. Now, so I want to get into this, but I want to bring back a point. You know, I was learning in the Pasha of the Samashim Sarayshim, I kept on insisting, but now I have to back down a little bit, that... There's no chiddush that the Sahamashkin's dream is a good dream, Sahamashkin's dream is a bad dream. Yeah. Right? As Yosef himself, the chiddush was the Shleshes Asamigim Shleshes Yomim. That was the big chiddush. And his pissing skills. Now, Sahamashkin made no mention even of that detail. Just Oisi Yeshua Al Kanis Asal. Okay? It's Mashma. That was a chiddush. Now, now, mind you that I had another piston for the Sahamashkin. The Sahamashkin's dream is not necessarily a bad dream. Sahamashkin's dream meant, and he could have interpreted Sahamashkin's dream as far. <laughs> Yeah. The three salam are three years. In three years from now, there's going to be a sava gadol b'chalat yeah, yeah. And there's going to be so much bread, yeah. they're going to give it to the birds. Right. And I have a better idea. Shlach lach mayim, and let's save it. Let's store yeah. it up. Whatever. Right. And that's, that would have been a great person. And that would have, but that would have given person right now. Right. And then we could have done without this whole forgetting him and waiting two years. And all, 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 all. I mean, it would have been two years anyways, but he would have been... <laughs> Because everybody had something to say about the whole Mitzrayim. Yeah. We'll now they might not have listened. We'll probably have listened. Right. Okay, good. Oh. Probably not. Now, right. Probably not, exactly. Well, if he's supposed to, then he would have anyway. Yeah, okay. Right. Now, so I always said that there was another way to interpret the Sahara from dream. Today, I want to show you that there, I think there's another way to interpret the Sahara Mashkin dream. Okay? Okay. And in order to do this, we have to really, of course, compare Yosef to Nakahel. Daniel. Esther, because it's oh, Esther. 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 New, this is what we have to do. <laughs> Finally, what? A different dream. Yeah, not what took us? No, well, not dreams, but what? Well, right. a different night. But night. what took us so long to to to? I guess we're waiting till. It's lack of sleep. Right? Yes, I guess we're waiting till live perm. So let's review now the very well known, well documented parallels between Yosef and Esther. Obviously, there's someone in the king's court that is under the gedula. Yosef is Ife Tyre and Esther is Ife. That could be, I could refer to Mordechai or Esther. And I meant to be deliberately ambiguous because, as we'll see, there's some parallels to both. Yosef and Esther are both beautiful. Yeah. Yosef and Esther, Ife Tyre, Ife Mara. Yosef told Sulo, which of course the Lechem and the Isha, we know yeah, that already, yeah, yeah. right? That's connected. Ech el el ovi vanare niti, Esther said, Echochol chavra isi. Yeah. Vayosa ha-melech has me'al yad veitin, no, al yad yad yosef, vayal veisho yosef, vayosa me'bid azov, vayar, vayar ki voisev, vayifruchu lefon of, vayikru lefon of avich, all these verbs are said about Mordechai. Okay. Hmm? But yes, I'm not talking about the shemayim. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Actually, I should not. Right. Right, right, right. But yes, but yes, I'm not talking about. Of course, it's Haman. But then, then eventually, Mordechai gets it. Ah, oh, finally, Mordechai, the right person gets it. So the nice story, Yosef gets it. Yeah, but Yosef is a big dish. Right. Um, but that's definitely Yosef. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. No, he's he says he was wearing. Hmm. They say Mordechai they're not going to talk with him before, right? Sometimes when you have some, it doesn't say by Alpha. Alright, fine. It doesn't matter. Here. We're not saying how Vilbishu essay. Vilbishu is the Ish. Don't say by Albesh, but it says Vilbishu. No, and then by Albesh, but you can come on a cell phone. By Albesh, it's more difficult. Okay, fine. But even if not, uh Vayaki Veyu, right? Vayaki Veyu, Vayaku the fun of, right? Okay. Okay. And um, even ain't Esther my get as as Amo and Yosef is not telling his brothers who he is. Right. Yeah. And this I saw Yoni Gorson made this point, an excellent point. After Pasha's after Safe Bracious ends and Yosef is a hero and wonderful, we have Yosef in Mitzrayim. Pasha's wife begins. I see more of Sarimisin. Right. And Megillah ends. Yosef Machshvayish Mas. 
As if to say, very nice, you have Mordechai, so you think everything's great, but we know, if we know, we know compared back to Boratius, we know that afterwards it's going to be Tsarist for the Jews. Similarly, gotcha. whatever, we still have problems with the king, okay? Well, yeah, then there were problems, because even though, even though later on, they, they did not yet build a, build a vice until, until it was still generated. Yeah, 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 right, right. <sighs> Right, okay. I would add, um, we mentioned about the Shem Shemayim disappearing, these parashias. Right, okay, it's, also not, it's, not, it's also not in, in so, the Sefer Not in the Sefer Zahn, it goes Esther, right? Okay, um, Bayom Ashlishi, Paribet of Mishta, and Mishnah Sholish. Yeah. Mishnah Sholish. 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 Yeah. So what? Uh, no, because it's 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 guided. Right. It's not. He's not the main. He's not the main character. But he's, he's right. A and for what? What's your point? Guiding right. force. Mm-hmm. What's the shaykhs to power? What's the shaykhs is that he's not. He's not the. He's not the. He's not the, he's not the good one. But he. You he's have there. to work. He's there. If he, if he, right. Yeah. You have to work in his. Oh, he's in his, his presence. Way. Right. Right. Very good. It's a similar concept. It's true. Very true. Okay, now I want to get to things that are more negative, I think, to, to what we're talking about. This one we mentioned already back in the beginning of Perak Mem. Chotu, this is makes this point. Chotu mashke malach mitzrayim veho oifel adonai hem vayikotzeif parel shnei sarisov. Kotzach big shon vaser shnei sarisov malach vayivakshu shloich yad, right? So there's the two sarisim. It's kotzach ketzach. Here it's vayikotzeif parel and the other side they were kotzach on the king. And Vayitolu Shnei Hemalait. Here one of them so gets him. Ah, very important. Tolu is the one gets. And Balayla, who nubbed the Shnasa Melech, and to be brought to Sefer as a Chroinus, and he found that, oh, Mordechai, wait a second. Oh, it's the lame, he didn't have Melech, and it by cuts, yeah. He couldn't translate. Okay, right, right, right. No, but right, right, right. And by Bachashver, it says they brought the Sefer as a Chroinus, and they found that by Mordechai has an un, unpaid Chos. And um, but this night, as you said, power couldn't sleep. And he finds out the Chatoni Mazkir, he brings back the Yosef has his unpaid debt. Right. That's waiting to be, right? right. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Uh, now, so, so I want to say, now, according to this, and this is something we've been busy with on and on and on, the Mashkim and the Tzayim are the same. And Parallel to Bigs and Maseresh, hang them both. Yeah. Okay. Or, well, they're, they're, or maybe in those cases the chetar the maybe it's not. The same as Pixel says, but it, uh, how do you know? We don't know what the chetar doesn't say. It doesn't well, say. That's well, the chetar. Right. That's what the chetar was. Right. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. Okay. Right. Don't say the actual shlosh yet. Okay. Now. Or, or, or possibly it could be this how Hamashkin was supposed to die as I'll say tonight and they just have what? instead yeah that's all we'll see in this Ayafim Kudav okay so Ayafim Kudav I already explained why because Ayafim's dream could have been about, about the Sava yeah. good dream okay now let's see okay now I want to understand but then now let's go back Sava yeah. but not that there's going to be a hunger but just in case no because why is Hashem telling us about Sava Gadol because oh by saying we told Hamashkin, what do you mean? Why by Shem telling me this? Always for a reason, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So could be the reason that why is important to know the Sava, you know, because you should know. Don't give it to the birds. You should be smart, because you never As know. As opposed to him thinking this. About okay, so let, let me. Let's, let's, thinking about him. Okay, yeah. Okay. So now like this. So, so let's let's focus on what the Hamashkin told Parah. So Hamashkin told Parah basically, I have to tell you something. The reason why I'm alive is because Yosef saved my life, right? Which means like this. So now, that, I want to say the Pasha, that's Eschatai and Emazke Hayyim. Because, till now, Paray thought that Barayv Chachmosa, he was able to discern yeah. this, this difference, this subtle difference in Samash and Saif, in which we can only find by being Medayak in the psychology, who speaks first and who's nervous and so on and so forth, right? And Paray thought that Barayv Chachmosa, he was aiming on this. Mm-hmm. And that Taka, the, he pardoned the Sahamashkim. Mm-hmm. And he's right with parting the Sahamashkin. So Mashkin is Gogai Sahar from the bad guy. So Mashkin tells him, you should know the reason why I'm alive and he's dead is because Kasha Paslavi Kate Hayyim. Which means, as Khatoy and Mazgir Hayyim, because that means that actually, yeah. I'm as guilty as the Sahar It's a big chop. Okay? What? Possibly more. Possibly more. Like, the point is that. Parai's decision to keep the Sahayim alive inside, kill the Sahayim, no longer has any, has not had any informational value, or right, doesn't have to reflect 
on the truth because it's actually because of Kala Chalam Yisrael and Peh and this is this guy who's placed with things who by the way has his own agenda as we know the Bizu Madasam who yeah. kept him alive is by Kasherit Avlach it's Katani so it's Chatoani Maske is basically saying look I have to tell you that you know, you think that we resolved the Indian and you spared my life and you came to the conclusion that I was innocent and you, because you thought about it, you were being manipulated, right? Now, now I want to show you something is happening. That's not Tony Maske. Now I want to show you in Kehelas, we can put together a few stuff and then we'll why see what comes that? together. Why would what? Why did Sarah Maske lose? Why stick his neck out? Because, no, right, because he know because he, because he also knows that he brought, he's bringing down evil on the whole Egypt by forgetting about Yosef, right? We spoke about it. Sarah Maske realizes that probably is having these, these awful dreams. It's all because it's not sad. And he cares about right? people. Well, no, he's going to kill all the storm. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I, I figured that. Yeah, okay. Sorry, okay. Hey, that's a good yeah. question. Okay. Now, now, look in Kehelas. Put together a bunch of psukim in Kehelas and we'll see how it all comes together. So in Perkhas and Kehelas, where it talks about how Mikhe Chacham, there's nobody like the Chacham, right? Who knows yes. the Peshe Davar, Perkhas? Who knows the Peshe Davar? Mm. And the Chacham is a taught your pun of he doesn't eat the lechem pas akum, and the chachma illuminates his face. Mikay chacham is no one like him, and in pasuk dalit it says ba'ashet va'melech shiltoin. The word of the of the melech is the shiltoin. Umi yoyim aloy matasa. Okay, so me who can tell him what to do? Now who told the king what to do here? Now whatever the king says is the shiltoin. King says he lives, he dies. Kacha zayedos. Nobody can tell him what to do. But really, there was someone who's telling him what to do, which is the Mikah Chacham, Miyadeh Peshadavar. Because really, Pari thinks that no one's telling him what to do, but actually, the, the Mik, because no one could tell Pari what to do, but Mikah Chacham, the only one who could tell Pari what to do is someone who's unlike anyone else. Ain't Novin Chacham Kamaycha, right? And I guess probably, perhaps, Raka Kisei Echdavi Mecca means nominally I'm king, or, you know, Kisei is like, you're, he's the, he, Yosef is the brains behind the Kisei, yeah. just the Kisei. Of course, the Kisei also have a Hashreish, right? The Kisei Machmus. Right. The stupid king makes stupid decisions. He has a Kisei. <laughs> One thing he has is the Kisei, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, in the theory, he could do whatever he wants. But right. In theory. In practice, not in practice. Mi yom lamatase. And, of course, Hashreish always asking people what to do. Mi yom lamatase. He needs a Chacham. Who's mi ke Chacham. Mi yadeh pesh dabar. And in nabu Chacham kamaycha. There's no one like this. He's, he's really superhuman in order to tell the king what to do. Now. So you see the Pasuk again, it says the Dvayim Melech is Shiltoin, Umi Yoyim Elohim Matasa. Okay, now, I want to remind you another Pasuk, which is spoke about a Perek of Hay, Pasuk Hay, and without going into the Raias, this Pasuk is referring to the Sahih Mashkim, Al Titin Espicha Lachati Espesarecha, by saying it's Chatoini Mazke Hayoyim, because the last Pasuk said don't delay, right? Uh, two Pasukim before, right? Alta Achel Shalomoy, don't delay if you made a promise. And then don't come and open up your mouth and say, Ah, it's not turning man's gehayyayin. Va'al toim alafrei ha'malach ki shkaga hi, we'll get to that in a minute. Don't say, it's a shkaga. Lama yiktsay fe'o le kimak kalecha. That's parakatsa v'alavadov. And the next passage, of course, talks about chaloymes. So on, fine. So that's referring to the same mashkim, right? Who shouldn't say it's a shkaga. So remember, Advan melech is shiltoin. No one could tell him what to do. And the Sarmashkim, when he talks about how actually there was Miyo Melamatas, which is Yosef, he's being Machti himself, and he's, in, he's inviting the wrath of Paroi, mm -hmm. which is a Moshe for the wrath of God. And don't say it's a Shkog. Okay, now there's another Pazakim Kelis about a Shkog and a Shiltoin. Right? You see, we have a Shiltoin, the Melech Shiltoin, could do whatever he wants, whatever the king says is. And now we're going to talk about another Pazakim. It talks about the king, whatever the king says goes. Even if it's a shkaga, this is in Perak Yud Pasuk Hey, famous Pasuk. Yesh Ro'a Ra'isi Tachas Hashem, Yesh Yud Pasuk Hey. Kishkaga she yetzuf nei shalit. Sometimes the shalit makes a shkaga, right? The Dvar Melech is shilton. The king says something and happens. Yeah. As Aidas, the Sam Mashkim is basically telling the king whatever you said happened, but Mia Emel Matase. Actually, it was Yosef, right? And. Um, and don't say it's a shkaga. What's the shkaga that a shilton can do? That whatever the shilton says happens, even if it makes no sense. Nitan has said, as the next passage says, Nitan has said, The bad guys could be superior, and the rich guys are the bad. Right? Okay, so that's what's happening over here. The Sarah Hamashkiv is telling the king that you're one big shkaga. 
Why? Because he's basically telling the king, you know why I lived and he died? Because it's a shkaga. Because whatever the shalit says, it's, and it's arbitrary and it's a shkaga. She had shalit, but he said so. So that's no, you gave this ruling and nobody, the, the greatest legal minds in Egypt, couldn't make any heads or tails about your ruling. So I've made, Taka made no sense. It didn't matter. Because it's a shkaga. She had shalit. The Sechel, who's the Sahamashkim, I'm saying, is Murim Rabin. The Ashirim is the Sahar Eifim, who's bad some having a dream about Aisha. And he's Bashef al Yeshevim. And then the Avadim al Susim, of course, is Haman on the Sus. Right? Haman on oh, the, the horse. Right, yeah. right? The king, who, who's, who basically just gives bad news. What is Haman on the horse? Well, no, I mean, he's. The Avadim al Susim is that. He thinks that. Right, he thinks so. Right, right, right. Okay? Well, the truth yeah. is. Right, 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 right. That he thinks he belongs on the horse, and really, or he's, yeah. yeah and exactly. until that day, it was right. the other way around. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so that's basically the part. So now, so what's the part so far? So basically, I'm saying is like this. So, Altitin is Pichalachti is Pesarecha. It's from Mr. Mashkin. Don't say you're a Chayte. Don't open up your mouth and say everything the king did is one big Chicago makes no sense. Right? So when he says Pari Katsaf al he's really inviting another Katsaf because he's basically saying there's none of Katsaf which was only resolved because whatever the king says happens not, not just because the king said it doesn't mean it makes any sense. In fact, it doesn't make sense. Just nobody can tell you what to do or me, someone else was telling you what to do who's controlling your mind and you thought it made sense because yes, it controls your mind. Whatever. Hashem controls your mind. Whatever it is. Okay? But what was you saying? Shkaga. But it's a shkaga. So basically, if it's a shkaga that I'm alive, then we really have to revisit this case, right? Now, or not, or not, right? Or not. But now, but it's, he's putting himself to me in the major danger by saying because that Paris' decision it's a because it's a weapon. What? Because whether or not to revisit this case is a weapon also. Yeah. Right. True. It's not true. Justice. True. Okay. Now, um, power. what? It's not justice. It's not wisdom. It's power. Right. Now I want to say like this. Now I'm suggesting, right. Now I'm suggesting that the Zahamashka could have died too. Meaning, let's say if you plug in Vix and Viserys, so they say both died. Now, the question is, puzzling me for a long time, is there any way to interpret um, the Zahamashka's dream, Lira? I always say it's a very good dream, right? But I want to explain to you how. But first I want to go back one more step and say, okay, let's say there's a way to interpret the Zahamashka's dream in, in, in a negative way. That he's going to die in three days. Why did Yosef not interpret it that way? So why not? Okay, we'll just it can be very reasons. But I want to say one thing. We had in Kehelas in Pek Ches Pasukid Aleph. Also, Samashkim territory there, right? That's Pek Ches where it talks about the Chachma, the Chachma who knows how to be um, interpreted, etc. And in Pasukid Aleph, Pasukid talks about people who are forgotten, right? And Rishayim and Pasukid Aleph it says that Hashem doesn't visit the evil upon people quickly. And that's why people are molly of Laban and Masisra. Okay? So if this, I want to say like this, if Samashkin is going to die in three days, that violates this rule of bad things don't happen in Mehera. Is that what I think? Ah. So is three days short or is three days long? <laughs> so three days for Sarifim is a long time because bread gets stale after oh. a day. I think Mar Baba Mar Baba Design, the same pack says two things. Says that being career vechamima that the fresh bread and old bread you can tell the difference. Mm-hmm. Right, so the guy won't be machafit. It also says that a nachash is not shaisef when yain tosis wine when it's still bubbling. Mm-hmm. It's still fermenting. Fermenting. No, but not but not fermenting because it's it's tosis. I don't think it's fermenting because Gemara says kamat sisasa shloshiyana. Shloshiyana. I don't know how long it takes to ferment. Right. Okay. Age more. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay. So it says it means the bubbling. I'm saying tosis right, which comes from fermentation. Right. So the kamat sisasa shloshiyana. Okay. So, so I say, Pasha, for a Sarah mask in three days, things are just getting started after three days. Yeah. <laughs> after the Sarah, three days is a long time. It's a long time, okay? Now, okay. now, I say, it's a perm tire. Listen to the, how the way this goes. Now, I want to say, you know how Yosef could interpret the Paris gene? So, the Gemara in Robert Zod, that same paragraph, the second paragraph of Robert Zod, says that a Nachash won't drink from wine when it's tasis, until it's three days old. The, the, the Samash had a dream that the grapes grew like this and he squeezed them and boom, he gave Pari the kais. The kais. Right? Yeah. Pari is the tannin. Salam is the nachash. And he's giving Pari the drink, the freshest of the fresh wine. 
which which Nachash doesn't touch. Right? Right, yeah, it's fermenting. Right, now it's fermenting. At least now the first of you did. Okay, I, I, right. So the is like this. So I want to say that there's a very another way. There's another way. Don't give the king yet. We get this. Okay, there's another way to interpret this dream. He's having a dream about poisoning power. Huh? Okay. Because if the nachash doesn't drink it, and you're giving it to him, you're giving him wine that's not good for him. Right. And like Bixen and Sarish, who uh, had to poison the king, and who else had this poisoning the king of the drink? The other side, Mashkim Nechemia, yeah. who said, who, who looked bad, Madu Panecha Royim, Ain't a Kim Royal Lave. So Ash says he suspected that he's poisoning him. Yeah. He's putting poison in the wine. Mm-hmm. So that was the other dream. That was the other, that was the other, that you couldn't interpret him. You're having dreams about killing the king. Which means that the king knows you're going to kill him or something like that. Now I'm going to. But he you, knows that you're. Your thoughts are coming out, right? Right. that the birds on the top of the head of the Zama showed what's in his mind that he's worried. Right. Well, this could have could have been some other thing that we should, we were able to read this Armash in his mind, and and Yosef could have run to Parai and said, "Kill this! Better kill this Armash Like Mordechai ran to Parai and said, "We kill because of his age, right? Right. Yeah. right? He could have made that we discovered that you have something against the king. He could have discovered that, okay? So that's my theory over here that um that a component but kids are, that's already cherry on time, so that's, that's like extra credit here. But later in this sukim, the point is that Mashim was telling the king, I think this is true. That much we could say that he's telling the king it's not you who did it, it's Yazid that did it, which may or reopens the whole possibility of the Zamashim's guilt. That's the first half I was saying. The first second half I was saying is that is that um, what indeed could have and, and starts in Bixim Maseresh suggests that maybe Taka they should both die. And Taco, that's maybe a way to read the Sam Ashkin's dream as a big Samasar's dream, a dream of poisoning yeah, the king. Really poisoning. <laughs> yeah, giving him bad wine. Because well, he's taking grapes and squeezing them. They, yeah, they're fermented. Did they say that they, that, they, that they grow quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. a nothing, right. Uh, uh, Karaks also needs it. So good grapes are fresh, so they're fresh. Okay, I'm saying it's snakes don't drink that. Okay. The mice, uh, I wanted to add one thing. And then, right, and then of course, in the Chemi, we know about the Chemi, the Samashkin, all the two shells, and the Chemi is also suspected of poisoning it. Which is the big, the big, I think, the big, one of the big dangers of being Sam Mashkin, is whatever, is you clear, no? I mean... The reason, the dangers are that somebody might be poisoning Somebody might be poisoning the king, and you're basically the one in charge, right. Clear, right. so but it's... Also, a, but also, you could, you could be the one to do it, because you could get away of course. with it. Of course, right. So, so anyways, okay, so that's, 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 that's what I want to say, but I want to just add one thing that needs to be, um, that it has to be explored. Um, the the Medjish says, Kala Chalam Zecha and Lecha Peh, right? Mm-hmm. The Gemara and the Medjish. The Medjish parap- says something which the Gemara in Bracha says, but the Medjish says an Ant Knech. The Medjish says, Kala Chalam Zecha and Lecha Peh, except for drinking wine. If, a tam- if you drink wine, if you're Tamil Chacham, it's good for you. If it's Yamar, it's bad for you. The Gemara in Bracha says, Yesh Seva Tovli, Yesh Seva Tovli, Yesh Seva Ralu. And Tamil Chacham, La Ulam Tovli. That's what the Gemara Bracha says. But the Medjish says, Kala Chalam Zecha and Lecha Peh. Except for drinking wine, drinking wine. If you're Tam Chacham, it's Tavloi. If you're Amorot, it's Rally. Okay. okay. Now, no one drank wine here. He almost drank it. Put another cup. You didn't drink it. So, but yes, we're still able to be poisoned. It. Something's going on over here, right? Just, I just have to point it out. I don't know what it is. Maybe because he's trying to get him to drink the wine. And the drink. Yeah, and then that would be right. I don't know. Like his parents are not arts. Al Capone, right? Al Capone. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know that uh, that the, the good and bad are, are opposite. Right. right. Okay. Well, then no, but then then he's not shy to this. You should say a type of say a I don't know. That has something to do with the fact that he could be good and bad. Also, I don't know. No, you you can't. Well, okay. We, he doesn't have knowledge. He doesn't know. Wait, you mean so right? So Pai, you're saying right? That's true. Pai doesn't. So Pai certainly did not know the rule right. that wine in a dream could be either good or bad because right. that. Conflicts with his whole, right. whole exactly. theology. or or whatever, or some things could be bad, right. but then he wouldn't see them. Whatever, right. fine, good, right? Okay, yeah, I don't know, right? But what he holds it doesn't matter for the truth of the piston. True. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the acre I want the acre is that when I have masker is basically saying Yosef did it, and therefore really Samashkim maybe should die, and everything is a shkaga. How does he know this? And which I means Skogi of Neshala, right? That's what I'm saying. Skogi of Neshala means we have a king who basically is, is a hapless king and makes bad decisions. And or that's again. just makes random ones. Random decisions, but that's also what we have in the Megillah that the bad guy is on the horse and, you know, like who, who's supposed to have power. Yeah. That's also part of the theme here. But right. oh, the king who makes it's not random. This is how Mashkim lives. I've done for no reason. And really, maybe it should have been the opposite. And similarly, 
Haman, Mordechai is the Megillah Stad, that, that Mordechai is the low, lowly and has to bow to Haman, right? The son, Kahok and Kavodam al he has to go on arts and bow like an ever. And really, and really, he's supposed to be on the Fasos. Eventually, he gets there, everything gets right. Okay, so we got, to, we got to Megillah. Yeah. Amazing. I don't know why it took us so long. Maybe because 